Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions Review for Virtual Hunter VR. A game released on the Steam Store December 2nd in Early Access by developer Virtual Hunter. It normally retails for 15 bucks. I got a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game. And I've tested this game out on both the HP Reverb G2 and the MetaQuest 2. Now I'm using the MetaQuest 2 right now because on HP Reverb 2, for whatever reason, I'm not sure, the game kept crashing. So it would crash maybe every five minutes or so, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. It may be because I have two different VR headsets on the same computer. I'm not sure, but I have not experienced any crashes on the MetaQuest 2, so I don't know. In case you haven't figured this out, <laughs> Virtual Hunter is a hunting simulator for VR. And uh, there are these towers throughout the map. This is one huge map. Um, it's got two different spawn points, and you can hunt basically two types of game, red-tailed deer or hares, or European hares. And I believe this is modeled, oh, I forgot the country, sorry. It's, I know it's a European country. I want to say it's Eastern European, but I don't want to guess which country. I have a guess at which, ones it might, which one it might be, but I'm not 100% sure. It's a lovely map. It's really big, and that's probably the best thing about this game is the map. It's huge. Um, I'll say this about this game. In my opinion, this is absolutely the best hunting simulator for VR, bar none. It's not even close. The bad news is that that's because the rest are really awful. And I don't think this one is is great at the moment. Um, there is some issues with this game. So definitely it's not for everyone. Now, if you're interested in a hunting simulator for VR, if that sounds interesting to you, that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then I would recommend this for you, even with all the faults it has, because it is the best. And I think it's got a great foundation. But again, it's an early access. The experience right now is very limited. And the, it's rough around the edges in a lot of areas. Like I said, the biggest, the, the best thing about this map is just that it's going for realism. So this isn't arcade. This is realism. And the map is huge. And I think the map is pretty, given how big it is. Now, I know it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> and you saw that interaction there wasn't very, very realistic. Now, I wasn't really trying to grab it and go down. I was just trying to go down as fast as possible. So I wasn't really trying to make it look realistic. Uh, you do have full locomotion. You have snap turning as well. You can choose the angle. I'm on 45 degrees right now. Um, you have three different stances. You can. This is normal stance. You can also go crouched. When you go crouched, you'll also walk slower. And then you can go prone. When you go prone, obviously, you're going to get a, you can go a lot slower. But right now, we're going normal walking speed. Um, I'm trying to find red-tailed deer. So that's what I'm going for. I don't care. If we see some hairs, I don't care. But uh, it may take a while to see a track. So the biggest thing about this game is find the tracks. So I think right now, normally I wouldn't be running all over the place, but we really have to find some tracks. So we're going to be running until we find some tracks. Now, tracks are not very hard to see in this game, but uh, unfortunately, they're also not very realistic. So here is the lake area. Now, personally, I think that you should see more animals in the lake area. That's just my personal opinion. Obviously, it makes sense. The watering hole, the animals have to drink water. And it's, But it's just kind of like a basic round. In fact, let's go to the water. This is one of the weak points of the game. Uh, there's several, but this is one of the weak points. It's, the water is not very, very realistic. So it does, it does look, it kind of, given how nice everything else looks, the water is kind of disappointing. So here's the water. And here we are. Okay. So you can see it's not, not realistic. <laughs> okay. Um, 
But I think the map, otherwise, besides the lake, it does look really good. Especially for a map this size. The map is the biggest map I've seen. Um, I, I don't think I've ever seen a map this big. It, it takes quite a while to get around it. Um, and you can walk a long time without seeing any, anything. So I like the map, but uh, obviously there are some issues. Now, right, right now I'm on high graphical settings. So that's the first thing I should tell you guys. I'm on high graphical settings. I do get variable frame rates. Um, you know, sometimes it's running at steady 90 frames per second. Then all of a sudden it just drops all the way down to 45, just unexpected, unexpectedly. So I'm not sure why, but it happens. Um, there's a lot of pop in though, regardless of, of the settings. Uh, I mean, I could try play. I haven't played this on low. So I played this on medium. And the funny thing is that when I ran this on medium, it was actually running worse than when it was on high. I'm not sure why that was. Uh, it's kind of unexplainable to me why that would happen. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on there. I haven't tried it on low, though. So I've pretty much kept it on high. But I do get variable frame rates. Um, on the HP Reverb G2, this game looks absolutely beautiful. The, the, because, you know, it's just a lot clearer. And so you really get to see how pretty this map is. But even on the MetaQuest 2 right now, which I'm on right now, it does look good. Uh, it, I, I'm not going to say it's the best looking map I've ever seen. It's not. It's not even close. Uh, but usually the maps that I've seen that look a lot better are the maps that are a lot smaller. So for a map this huge, I don't think I've seen anything that looks anything this good. And this is the one of the biggest, if not the biggest map I've ever seen. So keep that in mind. Now, it does come as a cost. As you can see, we can hear some bird sounds. We can hear some ambient sounds, but there's nothing there. So there's only hair and deer. There's no other animals. I've never seen a bird or anything like that, okay? And obviously there's a lot of pop, pop in. The skyline also, uh, there's like, the pop in is probably worse at, at the distance of the skyline because you can see it move all the time. And uh, did we just make a circle? That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> we haven't found a track so uh, one of the problems with this game is that you can run a long time because the map is so huge you can run a long time and not see any oh we, we found some tracks okay we can stop running now okay okay so one thing about the tracks is that they're not realistic so these don't really look like what deer tracks would look like but we can do this okay so this will make it easier to see the deer tracks now, deer tracks look a lot different, so I, I really don't know which direction the deer is supposed to be going. Now, normally deer have like two little hoo sharp hooves, and, I, and normally the, the sharp edge would be the way it's going. So, in this case, given that this doesn't look realistic, I don't know which direction it's supposed to be. Um... If you, if you look at the dark spot only, that's what deer tracks should look like. So if you only look at the dark spot and not the... So if you look at the dark brown, that's what the track should look like. If you ignore the light brown. So in that case, the deer should be going that way. So we're going to... We're going to go that way. Uh... My complaint, another complaint I have about this game is the weapon handling. I'm not a big fan of the weapon handling. Uh, as you can see here, you got these inventory slots. It's pretty clunky. The binoculars I found are pretty useless. So, I don't know. What do you guys think of the binoculars? Uh, you can, you, you two hand them. Uh, you can change the, sorry. You can change the focus. Okay. But, yeah, I find them to be pretty useless. I don't think I've ever found anything with the binoculars that I didn't already see. And what happened to my deer tracks? So this happens to me quite a bit where I'm on the, I, I found some deer tracks but I don't see the tracks anymore. Like, and there was more than just one pair. So let's go. Let's go back to our deer tracks. Let's let's go back. 
I, 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 sometimes the deer do make a circle around and they kind of like sidestep you, which sucks, but it does happen. Let's go ahead and let's go back to our deer track and see what's, what's going on. Did we go the wrong way? I don't think so. I think we were headed the right way. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm running on an RTX 3080. So I'm on high graphical settings and I'm running on a on RTX 3080 in case I didn't say that earlier. I know I mentioned frame rates. Uh, this game is running on the Unity engine. Uh, like I said, I did experience bug on my HP Reverb G2 where the game would keep crashing. Not sure what happened there, but it, I don't have that issue on the MetaQuest 2. Okay, what, what's going on here? Did I misread these? No, it's going that direction. It's walking, so it wasn't spooked. Did we somehow get something wrong? And as he, uh, by the way, deers are pretty social, so when you see one, you probably see several tracks. Okay, we must have done something wrong. So now I'm seeing the tracks, but do they end here? Okay, let's, let's go back to this track over here. Did we? No, we're going the right way. It's that way. It should be that way. By the way, it is a good idea to scan every track just to find out whether the deer is still walking or not. So you definitely want to tell. What, if, if it's running, you know you spooked it. Now, hopefully we see something here. This is a pretty open area. This is where I would love to see the deer if possible. But I don't see anything, and I've lost the tracks. That's one thing I don't like about this game, is how you can suddenly lose tracks that you were on. And I don't really see where they could have gone. It's already 7.25, so it's still early in the morning, so... Okay, was that us, or was that the deer? I think that was us, right? No, that was the deer. Okay, so the deer is somewhere nearby. Can we see it though? I don't see anything. So we want to be very careful now. We don't want to spook it. But I also don't see any tracks. I have no idea. I think I heard the sound somewhere in this area. But that doesn't mean anything because we're not seeing any tracks, so... The pop-in really makes it difficult to see as well because I'm seeing stuff move, but it's the pop-in. It's not the deer. Huh. So right now we're crouched. So we're walking slow. Now, I'm not crouched in real life. In real life, I'm standing. You can play this game either seated or standing. There's some comfort option as well. Uh, you can reset uh, the height of your camera. So you can play comfortably seated or standing. I just find it easier to look around when I'm standing. So that's why I'm standing. Oh. Where, where are you? Where? I heard it, like in this area, but I don't see anything. And I don't want to move around fast, because I don't want to spook it. And I don't want to make a long video, so I, <laughs> I'm really hoping to see it really quickly. Because I don't want to upload a huge video file to YouTube. And I'm sure you guys don't want to see like an hour long video of me trying to find a deer. So hopefully we can see one soon. But uh, it's really troubling that I'm not seeing any tracks. And uh, as you can see earlier, we were right on the track. So. Oh, there it is. There it is. No, 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 no. Oh, we. I thought we had it loaded. No. Oh, I thought we had our gun loaded. Didn't we load our gun? Oh, did I? Oh, I forgot to load it. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I, I did have it loaded, but that was a different save file. And I didn't want to start. Okay. Wow. <laughs> we did spook the deer, though. We didn't want to do that. So, that, anyways, our gun wasn't loaded, so we couldn't have, we couldn't have shot it anyways.
Now, as you can see, the interaction there just wasn't very good. Uh, basically, you let, let me try to aim at something. So basically, you aim, right? And unfortunately, what I found is you you kind of have to like close your left eye and put it on your right eye or the opposite, put it on your left shoulder and close your right eye, put it right up there and then press the left trigger and then you can breathe in and focus shot. So I tried that several times and the, I don't think the tutorial did a good job of really explaining that very well. But basically you got to put it on your shoulder, put it right up to your to your right eye. If you're like me, I'm right handed, so I'm gonna put it right right on my right eye. Close my left eye so I can see through it. And then I can do the focus shot, the left trigger. Uh, at this point, though, we spooked the deer. And I'm not sure there's anything else to do here. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and that's Virtual Hunter. I do like this game. I do like the realism of the game. I don't like the weapon handling. Uh, let me shoot, the, shoot it so you can at least hear it. Does that really sound like a rifle? I don't think it does. It's just my personal opinion there, but I don't think it sounds very good. And the weapon handling, as you can see, I'm trying several times now. Like, oh, wow, look how many tries. And my controllers, um, you know how your controllers have a ring around it? It gets very hard to put your controllers close to each other to do this. You do have to two-hand the weapon. Um, but the weapon handling, I think, would be better. I do like the the breathe and focus mechanic. I think that's a good mechanic. I just think it would be better polished as far as doing that and better explained as well. Um, there's only two games, like I said, the Red Tail Deer and Hares. Uh, we weren't looking for Hares, so I don't really care about them. Uh, but I think I see some... Okay, there's some more trails over here. Which direction are they going? They're going that way. So that might have been the deer that we just... That just ran away from us, so... Um, is there anything else I want to talk about this game about? Um, I, I do like the game. I think it is the best hunting simulator in VR. So I do recommend it. But I would mostly recommend it to, like, hunting simulator fans. And don't expect uh, Call of the Wild, uh, the hunter Call of the Wild, don't expect that game in VR. Like, the, don't think this game is Call of the Wild, uh, the hunter Call of the Wild, because it's not, okay? It doesn't have... That kind of that kind of content doesn't have that kind of depth yet. It's it's a pretty simple hunting simulator. Like I said, you only have two game. Okay. Okay. See, the water looks a lot better here in this little area versus the lake over there where it looks. Okay, it looks much better here. Uh, like I said, it is a pretty map. There are some graphical glitches that you see with pop in as you that. That tree looked like it was floating in the air. But once you got closer, you can see, oh, it's not. It was just popping. Um, but yeah, it's pretty barren, though. Because like I said, there's only red-tailed deer and hare. So even though you might hear birds and stuff, they're not there. Um, the interactions for using your tools, the binocular, I find not to be very useful. But, you know, this system of here, it's pretty clunky. But overall, I would say it's the best, bar none. Not even close second. But that doesn't mean that it's great, because it, it's not. It's lacking in a lot of areas, but it's got a good foundation for a great game. Uh, if the developer keeps working on that, I think he's got something very special here. Uh, obviously, we'd like to see a different map, even though this is a huge map, and I'm very happy with this map. I'd still like to see a different map, you know, with different terrain and stuff, and with different game. Um, more weapons. Uh, better start to the game it's pretty rough to start this game as a new, new person um this game it can be pretty tough to find game okay um i i i don't i'm not sure if there's anything else i should say uh, i'm not gonna rate this game because you know it like i said i like it I think it's the best of this type, but it's just so rough around the edges. I would hate to recommend it to someone because someone gives someone the wrong impression of what this game is. Um, but I definitely don't think it deserves the mixed review status right now that it has because the simple fact, it's the best. So <laughs> there's not a close second. So to me, that means it shouldn't be, maybe it should have like a mostly positive review status. I think that would be fair for this game. But I definitely don't agree with all the negative reviews because... Uh, what game do they think is better? That, that would be my question to those negative reviewers. So I do recommend this to hunting simulator fans. 
Uh, if you want to support development for this game, maybe we have a better finished product at the end of Early Access. That would be great. It's only 15 bucks, so it's pretty budget price. So I don't have any problems recommending it for hunting simulator fans. Um, just be prepared for a very realistic take. Like I, you saw me tracking that deer, and at the last moment, I got I spooked it. I, I went too fast. So beware, that does happen. And the opposite can happen. You can go a long time without seeing any tracks or seeing any gear. So, yeah. Anyways, this is a lovely map. I like this game. It's very, it's realistic. It goes for realism. I like that. But needs more game, more content, and just more polished, better VR interactions. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.